The month just ended ranked as the warmest May on record. And the month before that was the warmest April. And so was March. Each of the past 12 months ranked as the warmest on record in year-on-year -year comparisons. That's according to the EU's Climate Change Monitoring Service on Wednesday. The global temperature rise underscores a chilling reality. Our planet is trying to tell us something, but we don't seem to be listening. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Wednesday raised alarms over another report looking at the years to come. The UN's World Meteorological Organization reported there's now an 80% chance, up from 66% last year, the planet will see a calendar year with an average temperature that exceeds 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Climate scientists have warned that an average rise of 1.5 centigrade globally would result in extreme and irreversible impacts. We are playing Russian roulette with our planet. And we need an exit ramp off the highway to climate hell. And the truth is we have control of the wheel. A 2015 Paris Climate Agreement pledged global leaders to curb carbon emissions in an effort to keep temperatures below that threshold. But carbon emissions from burning fossil fuels, the main cause of climate change, hit a record high last year. Coal, oil and gas still provide more than three quarters of the world's energy, with global oil demand remaining strong. No country can solve the climate crisis in isolation. This is an all-in moment. Tomorrow, it will be too late. Now is the time to mobilize. Now is the time to act. Now is the time to deliver. This is our moment of truth. Warning signs of a hotter planet aren't just coming from thermometers. Largest iceberg in the world at the moment, about 4,000 square kilometers. Last December, an iceberg larger than New York City broke free from Antarctica. A weather system called La Nina could bring cooler temperatures in coming months, but that may just be a temporary respite in an upward trend. But this won't change the picture. Carlo Buontempo is the director of the Copernicus Climate Change Service in Bonn, Germany. I like the idea that if we really work hard and we put our act together globally and we manage to get to net zero and stabilize the concentration of greenhouse gases, we may still have a chance uh, by the end of the century to get as cold as now, in the sense that from now on, uh, it will be warmer.